uh, T.K. Kirkland, you know, okay. T to the muffin K, made a remark this uh, past week on Blah TV. He said that none of Easy es 11 children are being taken care of from Easy es estate. Um, now, I don't want to get too personal on that, but, you know, my question for you is, well, I guess, do, do you know, did, have we ever talked about Tamika Wright? Do you know Tamika Wright? And do you know any of Easy es kids by any chance? I know Lil E. Um, okay. I know Lil E. He, he, he was around here back when Easy was, uh, before he found Ruthless Records. I'm, I'm due to have him on the show any day now. He was, he's recording a show um, uh, about his life, life or family life or whatever. So as soon as he gets a recording, he's coming on the show. Um, I've heard that before, several times before, that for some reason, um, there was no money to pass down to any of, any of his kids uh, once he passed, which don't mm. sound like easy at all. Right. Okay. And, and that's probably what makes things so suspicious. I mean, easy took care of a lot of people, man. Easy took care of a lot of people. Easy had houses and yet, you know, girlfriends had cars and houses. He was that dude. He was doing it Bill Gates way, okay? Uh, yeah, man, what you the house? She said, BMW, he go 320, okay? You need a house, he go kind of over and, you know, it ain't, ain't chicken if you got it, okay? Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, when that, when uh, he passed, everybody get, go back on Section 8. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, that's laugh. crazy. Okay, uh. when he passed, you know, it, bus passes came back and, you know, Folks is back to doing what they was doing. So um it's yeah. um it was it was a cold game, you know. Um, you know whew, it, you had to be around, man, to know that dude, dude, to really see him. I mean, he took care of everybody and he um he was really a good hearted cat. Okay. Mm. He wasn't he wasn't a, the snake people try to make him out to be sometimes when it came to music. It came to it came to money, and I would I would put that on him. I put that on his management team more than I put anything else because he definitely um, was always about taking care of folks. Okay, he, you know, mm. and you know it was that was just his thing. You know, he just you know he he knew he had it it's easy. I would see easy with his kids more than anybody else in the in their in their kids. Okay, so for him not to leave his kids uh, straight. Um, don't make mm. sense. Which, like you said, makes his death a little more fishy. Right. right. Yeah. And I, I know, mm. uh, like that, Daniel Daniel says, uh, Easy got sued for having a t-shirt of his own father. Uh, I think a little bit more than that, but I know Big A was saying that they had a threat, a threat with a lawsuit because they, was doing, they were saying something was ruthless. And, mm. uh, and uh, I know they got hit with a uh, Threats of a lawsuit. I don't think the lawsuit ever got filed, so, mm-hmm. it, so they came to some type of uh, happy medium where they can keep the ruthless, keep attached to ruthless, but not using actually, uh, not actually using ruthless records to something to that effect. Okay, mm-hmm. but yeah. that's that's got to be frustrating when you uh, your dad built something like that and had instead of everybody to win, all of a sudden at the last minute somebody else stepped into the picture and all of a sudden everything he built goes to somebody else. Yeah, and don't get it twisted. Ruth, there is still money coming into Ruthless. I mean, Bone Thugs and oh, Harmony yeah. still being streamed to this day. Easy E is still being streamed to this day. All those Ruthless yeah. records releases are still being streamed. So I'm sure she's still seeing a hefty amount of money. Yes, sir. I mean, the, the streams yeah. that I, the streams and stuff that I get, it's not, it's not, it's all right. But I'm, I can imagine what his must be, though. Yeah, you know, yeah. I could imagine what his must be. You know, it's got, mm. it's got to be thousands a month, just. Just in streaming, just from um, from the streaming part of it. So, you know, it's yeah. just um, it is what it is. Yeah. Doc, it's what it is. Do you, do you know if uh, do you know if all of uh, his eleven kids were known before he was passed, or is it when he he died and then like all of a sudden people started coming out of the woodwork? Saying, nah, hey. I, I, he started. He was having. He, him and Dre used to clown about having who had the most kids. Ooh. Okay, God. they used to clown each other back in the day about who had the most kids. Damn. Okay, I think he had. I think he was pregnant. Tamika was pregnant with one of his kids, and when he passed, so and that was something mm-hmm. else people were chipping on about um, about um, that um, he the kid did Tamika know the kid had had uh, AIDS or had any HIV. So that was right, something yeah. that was always being discussed with, with him. Like, how the hell are you gonna have this? 
die from this, and everybody else got it but you. you no, know, who else had mm. this shit? Where did it come from? Okay, mm. it's still they it's still they figured out how, where it came from, whether it's blood transfusion, uh, sex, or whatever the case may be. Nobody still don't know to this day how he contracted that um, HIV. Mm. Your boy uh, yeah, player man. says, "Lonzo, I was locked down, brother. Just got out yesterday." Player, player, oh, what you say? Come player. on, player. That's, come on, man. Got to do better, pimp player. I know that you, you haven't comment on our shit lately. I haven't like, seen him in a minute, and we don't. Yeah. I guess we don't. I guess we don't translate well in the jail. But uh, I'm glad to see you home, man. Glad to see you home. Watch that, uh, that uh, Jerry. What's it? What's it at, at, uh, that uh, shit they put in your hair? The, the lice shit. Jerry Crow. Uh, oh. DUI, nigga. Uh, the, the, Man, they used to spray your, they used to spray your Jerry Curl. Yeah, they used to spray your Jerry Curl back in the day with some shit, man, that was delousing you. Keep the lights out of jail. That shit fuck up a Jerry Curl. Yeah. Man, that shit would fuck up your curl something terrible. <laughs> DUI. Okay, play at least, you know, man, Come stay on, out of jail. Man. That ain't no place Be for, smart, that guy. ain't no, wait, wait, wait. That ain't no place for a pimp, player, or a hustler. Think about mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jail is no place for a pimp, player, or a hustler. Mm-hmm. Especially for a DUI. Come on, Playboy. Tamika got that set for life man. ticket. The oh, Tamika yes, got she did. For life. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, Freddie B says, what's up from Cleveland? Any Bone Thugs stories? Did you did you ever meet anybody from Bone Thugs? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my partners managed, uh, I think it was Crazy Bone or Lazy Bone. I get them all. I got the mm -hmm. cats confused. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the light-skinned cat. Um, okay, uh, so that would be like, lazy or busy? Probably lazy. Probably lazy. Um, mm -hmm. They would come to the current affair. I do shows. He did a couple of shows at the current affair. Uh, I spoke to one of them uh, late last year. My, my partner still manages him. He got a he has a um, a uh, cannabis line that's coming on. We supposed to supposed to do the podcast. I'm waiting waiting to hear back from him. Yeah. So he want to wait till he launches launched his uh his uh cannabis product to come do the podcast. He want to have something to talk about. So yes, yeah, nice, I do nice. have nothing nothing crazy. That's an extravagant, but yeah, we do have connections. Dope, dope. Yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony, quite possibly one of the top five groups, in my opinion, in, in hip hop history. I mean, they were just, they were so different and just, man, they, they were so good, dude. And, and everybody tried to copy them. I don't know if you remember when they came out, Lonzo, but there was always like, on, everybody on their album had at least one, what we call Bone Thug song, where they rapped fast to a slow beat. Mm. Yep. Yep. Wow! Yeah, they're um, definitely influential. When I, first, when I first heard that style, man, I didn't know what I know. I, I know it was great. I know it was unique. I didn't know what to think about it. I'm like, that shit is dope, but is it? Mm -hmm. You know, it was it was so unique, and yeah. you know, it was almost. It, I tell you who did it first, though. It was almost reminds you of uh, Mix Master Spade. Oh, okay, that really? The, the Mix, Mix, Mix Master Spade had a rapping singing style. Uh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm Mixed Master Spade, and I'm Spade, a ready to I'm ride, ready to ride, ride, ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had that kind of style, and you know, it was great at that time. But nobody really appreciated what he was doing because he was doing. He was so far ahead of his time, and I think that's probably one of the almost one of the worst things that a cat can do is be ahead of his time, especially when you're around people that's not that that creative. People are still yeah. stuck inside the box. Well, man, how you gonna rap and sing? Well, nigga, I can't. Okay, because mm -hmm. yeah. I can. And, and only thing worse than being ahead of your time is being too goddamn late. <laughs> yeah, that's the next uh, being too damn late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and think about it now. Everybody's rapping and singing, but think about how people looked at like a Biz Marquee when he came out with that. You got what I need, I need. but you say he. People probably were looking at him like, "You really want to release that, Doug?" And yeah. look now, it's a cl it hip hop is. classic. So here we are, here we are, and this is the part people will create will creativity. Yeah, this is why I say people just sometimes they 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 all they want to do nowadays is be with, would be re reproduce what's already successful. Mm -hmm. Biz Marquee, uh, what his biggest song, like you said, you got what I need. I'm looking watching TV commercials, and there it is. Okay, mm -hmm. there it is. Okay. And keep TV commercials is big money, okay? Mm -hmm. Big money. So when you see these kind of things, and you, I remember when it came out back in the day, okay? Um, people laughed. It was like, what is this dude thinking about? What, you know, he can't say he, he was always considered 
a novelty act. He was respected, but he was like a novelty because right. you know um, he had he had uh, what was the other song? Um, Just a friend. Uh, oh, he had uh, I know the the vapors. Uh, the, the vapors, vapors. right? Mm, yeah, the, uh -huh. the, the, the vapors hit up first. Then he had you got what I need. Make the music then, with your mouth is right. That one. And then he had the uh, picking boogers. 